Yeshayahu, Isaiah 3. For behold, Adonai Yahuwah Savaot takes away from Yerushalayim and from Yahudah the stay and the staff, the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water, the mighty man and the man of war, the judge and the prophet and the prudent and the ancient, the captain of fifty and the honorable man and the counselor and the cunning artificer and the eloquent orator. And I will give children to be their princes and babes shall rule over them. And the people shall be oppressed, every one by another, and every one by his neighbor. The child shall behave himself proudly against the ancient, and the base against the honorable. When a man shall take hold of his brother of the house of his father, saying, You have clothing, be you our ruler, and let this ruin be under your hand. In that day shall he swear, saying, I will not be a healer, for in my house is neither bread nor clothing. Make me not a ruler of the people, for Yerushalayim is ruined, and Yahudah is fallen, because their tongue and their doings are against El Yahuwah to provoke the eyes of his glory. The show of their countenance witnesses against them, and they declare their sin as Chedam, they hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hands shall be given him. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which lead you cause you to err, and destroy the way of your paths. Yahuwah stands up to plead, and stands to judge the people. Yahuwah will enter into judgment with the ancients of his people, and the princes thereof. For ye have eaten up the vineyard, the spoil of the poor is in your houses. What mean ye that ye beat my people to pieces and grind the faces of the poor? Says Adonai Yahuwah Sevaot. Moreover, Yahuwah says, Because the daughters of Sion are haughty and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go, and making a tinkling with their feet. Therefore Adonai will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Sion, and Yahuwah will discover their secret parts. In that day Adonai will take away at the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet, and their calls, and their round turbans like the crescent moon, the chains and the bracelets and the long veils, the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs, and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings, the rings and nose jewels, the changeable suits of apparel, and the cloaks and the veils and the bags, the glasses and the fine linen, and the hoods and the veils. And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. And instead of a belt of, rather, and instead of a belt, a rent. And instead of well-set hair, baldness. And instead of a stomacher, a girding of sackcloth. And burning instead of beauty. Your men shall fall by the sword, and your mighty in the war, and her gates shall lament and mourn, 
and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground.